Today we are painting windows. Um, I know that things are really heated right now and a lot of us are really calling out and speaking up for justice, uh, racial equality. And um, sometimes some people are able to go out and protest. I know Mother Adrienne and a whole group of folks were able to go out and protest the other week for which I'm so grateful. Um, I was not in a position or comfortability with the pandemic to do that. But we are... Yeah, we're going to paint in just a minute, but we are finding other ways that we can speak up. Um, some of the things that I'm doing is a lot of listening to folks, um, a lot of reading and educating myself. Um, and today we are going to do a Black Lives Matter with a little heart painting on our window as our activity today and to have some conversations with the kids. All right, so go ahead, girls. Um, go ahead. You can start painting the squares. You can just maybe do each square a different color. Okay. But we want to do squares. Yeah, that's fine. You can don't worry about painting on the tape because we're gonna pull the tape off. So paint all around it, and then when we pull the paint paint off, it'll still say our message. So some of the uh, materials that you're gonna need is of course some waterproof washable paint, right? So we do not want to permanently stain our windowsills or our windows. So we just use super basic Crayola Kids ultra washable paint. Um, and then I have some painter's tape to create our pattern here. I just lined the window and I use the tape to create our letters, Black Lives Matter, and I've got a little heart over here. And I use scissors. Um, after doing the chalk mural the other week, when we used tape outside on the driveway, I realized, you know, if I just use scissors, you get those nice crisp lines and it looks a lot better. So, painter's tape or masking tape? Yeah. Smocks, right? You can get it on your smock, no problem. Uh, paint brushes and paint, and then whatever kind of Mommy, design no, you want we to already put. need paint brushes. We already know that. So, if you have like windowsills here, you can go ahead and paint like a particular windowsill a color if you want. We picked out six different colors. See, I'm gonna use some green up here. Mom's gonna get the up top high ones, okay? For sake of cleaning, um, I'm planning to do, oh gosh, I don't know how well you can see this. There we go. Um, to do kind of light paint versus like heavy, a lot of paint on there. Just thinking about hey, green. washing the windows um, in a week or two and what that's gonna be like. Mm -hmm. so all around this body. We have some more colors if we need more colors. Mom, I need more blue for the cigar right here. But I can't do this with my Do we need to move the paint closer to you, Amelia? Yeah. Would that be helpful? Yeah, we could do that. Helps that. So I wonder the ways in which you are participating Yay. in this call for justice and equality. I wonder the ways in which you are talking to your children about it. I wonder um, in what context, right? We believe as Christians that God created all of us and created us good and loves us all equally and we are all seen as equals in God's eye. And so how can we... Um, in whatever position we are within our community, do our best to work towards that. Um, do our best to see, recognize, and um, name and shut down microaggressions that we experience uh, on a regular basis, uh, that folks in community experience on a regular basis. Um, how can we educate ourselves? How can we as white people speak up on behalf of our brothers and sisters in Christ of variety of colors, right? And we do these things all out of our desire and our love 
our desire to follow Christ and our love of God. Um, we are charged through our baptismal vows. We are affirmed through scripture um, of God's love and God's call for justice and respecting the dignity of every human being. So this is just one teeny little um, activity that you can do with your family to help cultivate some of that conversation. If it's if you are in a white family and this is not your everyday conversation or something that is kind of embedded in the culture. All right, girls, how's it coming along? Good. Yeah? Good. I like this. This is looking good. I have like this guy, Mom. I like all the different colors you have going on here. All right. I think. Yours is gonna look a lot prettier than mom's. Cute. Both of yours. I might add some blue up here. This isn't quite solid enough. There we go. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Mama me mom on it. Yeah, keep working on it. Keep working on it. I can get some more paint on if we need it, but let's use up everything that's out first, okay? Mommy, I like the color I'm making. Yeah, I do like it. It's, it's passion. Really cool. Ooh, cool. We're making up our own colors. So we're going to continue on. I'm not going to bore you with um, watching us paint, but here's a little bit of a preview. <laughs> awesome. So I would love to see your creations. We will add a picture of our final creation at the end of this video. And I hope that you all are finding ways to participate, to speak out, um, given your comfort level, given the pandemic and everything. Um, but it is really important that we do find an avenue and a platform to speak out on behalf of our black brothers and sisters to say that their lives matter just as much as everyone else. We are all equal and we are all in this together. And with the grace, the love, and the guidance of God, we can find a better way to live as a community, better way to interact with one another, respect one another, and pass down to our children a, a brighter future. Girls, you want to say bye? Oh, goodness. This has gone off the rails. This is what happens oh, when mom starts to talk. All right. On the window. On the window. Say bye. Bye.